Hello everyone. Today we are going to see how to type math equations in LaTeX. Myself David Raj Michael working as assistant professor in Sikkim Manipal Institute of Technology Sikkim. So what do we learn today? We are going to learn how to type this equation in LaTeX and how to type this aligned equations in LaTeX. You may notice that all the equal to so are aligned properly and the numbers are given here. and how to type inline mathematical expressions like e power x log e power x and many many etc without no time wasting let's get start i have already opened my tech studio here it has only the document class articles and this is the package which i am going to use today to type my mathematical expressions this package is called ams math you can just type slash use package ams math and start compiling it it should automatically install your package if you are using mic tech if you have using tech live you may have to install it so begin document and in document inside this whatever we type it's going to come here so here we gonna start so there are two buttons one is small green button which just compiles the document and creates all the necessary files and this one is compiles and builds the document and shows here output is showing here. okay so what are we going to do now i am going to create a section called how to type math equations hit compile yes the first one is inline mathematics so when you are writing some documents how to type inline mathematics whenever you type a mathematical expression you should start with the dollar symbol and type the expression here and end with the dollar this is a syntax to type inline mathematical expressions so here if you want to type sin x the function sin x has been given by slash sin x note that the backward slash sin x and backward slash cos x or very important functions for engineers save and compile so this is how you type inline mathematics look at here the sin x and cos x are properly aligned next one is equation invariant so how do i type a display equation which is centrally aligned which i have shown somewhere here how do i type this kind of equations let me show you this environment is called as equation environment so slash begin equation and end equation so f of x is equal to to type a fraction we use slash frac and type the numerator in the first bracket and type the denominator in the second bracket in my denominator i have may say for example 1 by 2 so this is how it works 1 by 2 but i want Class sigma square root of s q r t and within brackets I want two times of pi. Every command is self-contained. For the square root is this. So compile. This is my square root of this. And exponential of that is slash e x p. slash left open bracket slash right open bracket inside this i want to type a fraction which holds my x minus mu and divided by sigma square this is how i type so after this bracket i want to square and i wanted to put a curly bracket out of it so how do i put so after this exponential slash lft 
slash left braces so slash left braces why it is means because this is used in many places just to hold the strings so you have to escape this string so right, finally finish it with class right compile it you get this bracket yes that's how it works and the next one is slash uh, align environment so slash begin align and end align so how do i for type the equation which i have shown exactly similar to this so i wanted the equal to to be aligned straight away and every equation should be numbered so how do i do that i type the first equation as f of x equal to x minus 2 whole power 2 plus x plus 2 whole square if you just compile right now this exactly same as that of the equation environment as of now it differs by you can type multiple equations in the align expression so to separate it in the next line you have to use double slash double forward double backward slash and type the second equation as equal to x square minus 4x plus 4 plus x is square plus 4x plus 4 yeah if you compile now yeah there is an error because it says that actually paragraph be ended before a line was computed which means that i have left one space here one line space here which should not have been done so let me remove that now if i compile that error won't be there yes now it is not aligned here okay so how do i align it so the aligning character in the align environment is an ambassador symbol so i wanted to align over here and over here so to denote that i put an ambassador symbol over here and similarly an ambassador symbol over here i usually wanted to have a proper indentation so that my code looks better so if you compile now it got aligned properly and also this equation is there 2 and 3 suppose if i do not want that number 2 but i want only the number 3 if i put star here and if you compile what will happen there is no in equation number which means if you put star equation number won't come so do not put star and instead over here just at the end of the equation first equation type slash no number so that takes off the equation number over here it regains the remainder number here you may note that actually it automatically updates the number to 2 that actually concludes today's tutorial i'll see you back in the next tutorial thank you so much